What is up everybody, I'm Mega Short Fuse, and I'm finally off school for, um, for three days. Irony. Irony does not evade me, but I'm here to kind of run the ever-awful Anna Orlando gauntlet with the most awesome character on the planet, and for those of you who don't know or who have been living under a rock, this is Dark Souls. This is probably one of the best games I've played lately, and this is gonna be me running through a very, very beautiful area in the game. Hopefully I'm not going to spoil anything because I'm not going to find any bosses. That's to do on my own time because I'm probably going to lose a lot. But yeah, I just wanted to run the gauntlet. And uh, I kind of, I don't know, I might explain where the hell I've been. First off, um, this quarter at school, I have four quarters in a year. And I just passed the third quarter. This quarter was hectic. It was hectic as hell. Um, I had a big project. I had stuff to study for, and, um, I didn't have a lot of time to play video, well, I had enough time, but I didn't have enough time to actually make decent videos out of playing games, so the result of that was me completing Bioshock Infinite, Tomb Raider, and a couple of other games, but as a whole, haven't had any time to actually record, because I, um, I do hold myself to up to a certain standard, uh, believe it or not, there is some method behind this madness, and I just don't like half-assing it, you know? I just don't like recording when I don't feel like it. And most days I just wanted to, like, play a game and get it over with. So, whoops, wrong bow. Um, but I have been very, very engaged in Dark Souls. And that this is not a game that lends itself easily to commentary. At least if you haven't beaten it once. And this is New Game Plus, so... This should work splendidly, since I know where all the enemy placements are and I have learned... That backstab is the bread and butter of everything. And I have made sure to uh, be a complete douche and isolate myself from everybody by turning on offline mode. That was kind of ironic. Or oxymoronic, if you will. But yeah, nobody can invade me and I am safe. Since, um, let's just say PvP is not my forte in this game at all. So yeah. I'm, I'm getting on a tangent, as as per usual, but, um... Essentially, what does this mean for videos, now that I have a bit more free time? Well, um, I don't know how many more videos like this I'm gonna be able to do on a day-to-day -day basis, but a certain someone is gonna come here for a couple of days, and that certain someone might, let's say, oh, I don't know, help answer some questions, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, and, um, he might... I don't know, engage in some aquatic activities, if you will. I think this is enough of um, a nudge in the ribs, if you will, for uh, you guys to be happy for the coming week. Hopefully I have time to render and upload, but this shouldn't be a problem. Since I still haven't beaten God of War Ascension, another one of the games that have been on my back burner, that's because that game is awful. Um, I'm not going to pull any punches. I think God of War Ascension is... A piece of doo-doo, God of War Ascension can actually, if possible, eat its own ass and die of the horrible taste. I don't like God of War Ascension at all, in the slightest. God of like, I don't know what the thought process was behind creating God of War Ascension, but, hmm, I love these guys. What, you useless jackasses, I can't even insult them, I'm just too scared of falling off a ledge. Um, but yeah, God of War Ascension is poopy. God of War Ascension is, like, if you look up poopy in the dictionary, Kratos' bored-ass picture from God of War Ascension should come up. Because Kratos is bored. Kratos is bored out of his fucking skull in that game. Take away the rage and Kratos just becomes, like, passive-aggressive. He's like... <laughs> Like, the best way I can describe it is every time a boss comes, you know, barrels towards Kratos, shouting challenges, Kratos is like, okay, I guess, whatever. Kratos is just, he's more humane, sure, but he's so bored, dude, god. I haven't tried the multiplayer, but I've heard that it's very, very hectic, and as such, um, I don't know. I don't think, god damn it, I forgot. Shields? Lol, eat dick. I did. Oh wait, they're stupid. I can just do this. I'll, I'll give my opinion on Dark Souls difficulty, notorious difficulty, in a moment. But let me just finish my God of War Ascension rant. 
God of War Ascension is, um, like, there's one thing that keeps the game from being actually enjoyable, and that's the parry system. The combat system works fine. I like that there's just the, the Blades of Chaos, and that, Jesus Christ, come on, Jesus, this is really, yep, there we go, that's one down. Oh, and that's two down. God damn it. Editing! What the fu- Fucking hell. Okay, well this is about as good of a point to start again as any. Anyway. God of War Ascension. Essentially. <laughs> Ascension, essentially, huh. The parry system is awful. The parry system is the reason the game doesn't work. All they had to do to make the game functional and enjoyable was... Shit! Was to give an AOE parry. Holy crap, that was close. I hate this part. So yeah, that's my two cents. I haven't tried multiplayer, don't care much. Um, parry system is awful. And Santa Monica should really consider what they've done in a past life to deserve... Or really, I should have consider what the hell I've done wrong in a past life so as to deserve this kind of treatment from fucking Sony Santa Monica in any case um Jesus Christ people give up please oh fuck you Hawkeye okay one two three oh, two seconds and great. Okay, after a bit of thought, I've decided to abandon my God of War Ascension rant and save that for, I don't know, when I make a God of War Ascension video, which might happen. Anyway, on to Dark Souls and uh, why this game is so awesome. If you haven't played this, um, one, you should. Two, you should pick it up. Um, you have no excuse. Like, none. The game is ridiculously cheap right now on Steam. Well, it was. Like, hmm. Well, it's periodically super cheap on Steam. And despite what game journalists say, it's not difficult. I like to make a distinction between challenging and difficult. This? Well, this is currently is bullshit, because this is probably, barring one boss, the worst part of Dark Souls. Those two fuckers up there, who I can't hit for the life of me, they, um, well, one, they knock you down, because obviously nobody in Anor Londo decided to invest in, I don't know, railings, like here, or safe passages, or anything of the like. Although, they do have a gigantic front gate over there, which I don't have the key to yet. And how I know this stuff? Well, this is New Game Plus, and I'll get to this in a second. But, I have played upwards of 80 hours of Dark Souls, and I can't get that guy, it's impossible. I played upwards of 80 hours, and um, I've loved every second of it. I love games like Fallout New Vegas, as most of you know, is probably my favorite game this generation. Um, I love games that give you that freedom of exploration, and this game is really good with that. It has awesome enemy variety. All the enemies react the same to combat. Is, well, differently, sorry. React differently to combat is meaty. It's... Um, the combat is actually, like, there's substance to it. And, god, I need to hit him one more time. That poison build up. Hopefully I can do it. I'll probably need a hawk ring for this. Like, everything is very sort of gr grounded in reality in Dark Souls, and at the sa same time it's very um, high fantasy-ish, as you can see from... Well, you can't, because my awesome character is in the way, and you, you do not want me to take off that hood. Watch my previous Dark Souls video, believe me. You do not want me to take off this hood. Um, and yeah, like just, poison build up? No? Great. Perfect. Wait, there is poison build up. I hit for 54. Okay, if I hit for more next time, that means he is being poisoned and he'll probably die within, I don't know, 10 years still. Well, they do respawn, but hey, I'm never taking this route again, so I don't care. Um... What was I saying? Right, the, the game is very... The combat itself is very grounded in reality. Like, the swings, everything feels... See? Meaty. It feels natural. Um, it's very 
tight, it's very precise. Um, and... Oh boy. I'm... Dead. I can't... I did it! I did it! Oh my god, fuck my speeches about how good this is. This is the biggest bullshit you can pull off on somebody. Okay, I guess this is gonna be a multi-part series then. I'm not gonna do a fucking playthrough of this, because by god, I'm gonna need a lot more bags of sedatives. Oh my god, okay. The trick to beating these idiots is just hide down their hail arrows. Hopefully they don't ever, ever get up. Wow. Again, distinction between difficult... And challenging. Game journalists usually aren't the best at games. This game isn't hard. That right there was bullshit. Flat out. This is like if you could distill bullshit and put it in a goddamn bottle. That was bullshit. Ah, I remember why he didn't show up in you. Hmm. This for the unenlightened is. The Good Knight Solaire, and the Good Knight Solaire, for some reason, disappeared in New Game 1, or my first, you know, the first time I played through this. I think I killed him here, because fuck it, I was so infuriated the first time I actually got past all of these archers, that, um, that, wow, just wow, that I just had to take it out on somebody, and poor Solaire was in the way, and I forgot that he was an essential, well, not an essential, but a very good NPC to have around, so... Yes, I've left, left quite an impression, considering I died about 15 times back there. Well, he can't see, really, but I'm sure he heard my yells of anguish. You really are fond of chatting, now. If I didn't know better, I think you have feelings for me. Oh, no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> creepy laughs. Thanks, Japan. Thanks, Japan, for creepy laughs. Anyway, this is gonna conclude... This video in which I rambled on about nothing, but next time I promise, uh, one, I'm not gonna die that much, because I know the inside of this place like the back of my hand. And two, um... I'm gonna go a little bit more in-depth about why Dark Souls is a must-play, why it's so just unbelievably good of a video game, and why you should be hyped for Dark Souls too, because I know a bit about the lore. So, until then, eh, fuck it, I guess... I guess I can treat myself to actually killing one of these guys. Silver Knight's my ass. This is how you play the video game. You go behind the idiots and you stab them in the back. And then you smack them with your huge sword which stole out of their brethren at the end game. So fuck you, Silver Knights. God damn it, I hate, <laughs> I hate the archers. There's um, two things that make Connor Londo very bad. Ah, I'm rambling again. Anyway. I will see you, believe it or not, tomorrow. So till then, bye-bye.